brought to you by the Bose A20 Aviation Headset, their most advanced pilot headset ever. Hi everyone, I'm Mary Grady with AvWeb reporting from AOPA Summit in Hartford. We're here with the Terrafugia. They've got a new model that we first saw at Oshkosh, but today we're going to take a little more detailed view of it. And here's Carl Dietrich to uh, give us some update on what they've been doing with it. Terrafugia is currently getting very close to the beginning of testing for our two production prototype vehicles, the one we've got here at the show and one that's back in our office. Um, we've got a lot of testing lined up for these vehicles, six phases of flight testing, nine phases of drive testing before we'll be ready to deliver a product to a customer. The technical challenges primarily have to do with weight. You know, we're in a very tight weight category trying to fit inside the light sport aircraft category and the FAA was very helpful in issuing us a 110 pound exemption to allow us an additional 110 pounds similar to the amphibious aircraft. Um, but we still have a lot of equipment that we need to fit in the vehicle that you wouldn't have to have in a normal light sport aircraft in order to meet Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards. Things like uh, safety cage, crumple zones, airbags, lighting systems, uh, explosive seatbelt retractors, you know, all sorts of things that we have to have in order to meet those automotive standards. And they all weigh something. Started flight testing uh, the transition yet, the production prototypes yet. Um, when we do, we've got six phases of flight testing planned for it, starting with just the very basics, but going all the way to spin testing. Um, so that's down in the, that's towards the end because that's getting to be the really high risk uh, testing uh, stuff. So we push that off uh, till later. Expecting it, the transition to cruise at about 93 knots, about 100 miles an hour, uh, have a 45 knot, 52 mile per hour stall speed, um, burn about five gallons per hour using the Rotax 912S engine, uh, or the ULS version, and uh, let's see, have a range of over 400 miles, 23 gallon tank, so 400 miles plus reserve.